that like when you have chance to win, don't get it done. Chance to win, don't get it done. You guys have to keep going back out there, fighting that, you know, just that, you know, disappointment of not winning the game. What's that like as a defense? You know, I mean, it's hard, um, you know, especially that first overtime. Um, the defense felt like we uh, we uh, took care of business on our end. and uh, But we'll go to bat for Jake any day of the week. Like, that missed field goal was nothing. Like, nobody on the sideline, nobody on the defense was uh, discouraged. Just put our helmet on and trusted that we could get it done in the second overtime. Um, so, I don't know. I think it's just you got to love your teammates no matter what. You know, we love Jake. He's won so many games for us, kicked so many big kicks. So, yeah, he'll he'll make the next one. So we're we're sure about that. How physical was this game compared to all the other games you've played in your career? Honestly, yeah, this is this is a physical one. Um, you know, dealing with the tight ends, the tackles almost every play. Um, they have some big tight ends, some big strong tight ends, physical tight ends. They like to run the ball. Um, but I think we made a point of emphasis to, you know, get physical. You know, we, we, we feel like we came in this year with something to prove, especially in our run defense. Um, and this was obviously going to be the biggest test up to this point. And I think we came in um, when we needed to and stopped the run, um, just stopped them all together. Does it surprise you that the fans stormed the field? <laughs> no. I mean, I would have if I was a fan. <laughs> I was pretty excited. I stormed the field. So... Um, no, I think everyone, everyone in Cougar Nation was excited that we got this, this win for sure. Max, you looked like you were flying around the field tonight. I mean, you looked like you were shot out of a cannon on some of those plays. I mean, was it, was it something the coaches told you, or is it something you had, to, something that was motivating you for what happened last year, or I don't know what was driving you tonight. I mean, personally, I think you know. I don't know. I have always had confidence in myself. <laughs> You know, he's on full go 100% no. of the time. He's humble. I've had, you know, I've had full confidence in myself, but I think it was just, you know, a matter of, you know, feeling good, feeling healthy, um, having the coaches trust um, at my back, um, just being um, free to make plays. I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to football is if you can loosen up and uh, just play how you've always played, you'll make way more plays. So just, just trying to eliminate all those extra thoughts out of my head. Fisher, can you describe the dog that is in Max's studio? No, I can't. I really can't. No, like oh, this guy's a dog. No, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. You'll <laughs> learn. You'll I know. Learn. I know some athletic people, but Max, Max is at the top. He, his mentality is different. He, he doesn't care. I mean, he's probably lighter than he should be, but no one can tell that. So, nah, he's Max is different. You're gonna see a lot of Max this year for sure. On the topic of dog mentality, looking at the stats, linebacker room took the initiative today. Is that something that you guys talked about this week? Did you guys know you guys are going to have to be the leader, step up, be physical this week? You know, yeah, I think last year we came into the Baylor game and we lacked a, a lot in the linebacker, in our linebacker core. You know, we, we left a lot of plays out there. We had a lot of missed assignments that we wish we could have back. And, you know, the only thing to do at that point was just to, you know, learn from those mistakes come come uh, prepared for Baylor. Our coaches got us ready. So I think, yeah, obviously uh, linebackers are going to have to step up, but like everyone in the defense stepped up. Our defensive line compared to last year, wow, like we we really we looked like we were a step ahead the whole game, I feel like. Um, it's just a matter of having everybody healthy, everybody uh, dialed in and bought into the, the program, um, bought into uh, our process, our game prep. Coach Tuiaki had us really well prepped this week. Um, I think he, he proved a lot of people wrong this week for sure. Max, where is this defensive performance just in its totality for you and in the games you've been a part of at BYU? Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I feel like the game as a whole, like obviously being a ni uh, ranked ninth team or top ten team, um, I think it's been 32 years or so since we beat a, a top ten team here at home. Um, so that alone, you know, that, that's history. You know, only only so many people will come through BYU football and uh, beat beat these uh, teams, win these games. So I think that alone um, makes it really memorable. Um, it feels good to, you know, get a full game and feel like I've made some plays out there as well. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it feels good. I don't know. <laughs>
Both of you guys, uh, can you speak to the confidence right now in the program? I mean, you guys are a program that's only lost, you know, four games the last two years and off to a hot start. You just, you're just maybe the confidence this entire program has at the moment. Um, we're here to compete. I mean, we're an independent school. We're about to go into the Big 12, but I think we have a lot of sleepers. I don't think people really look at BYU and, like, see a team that's – ready to go out there and win and play every game they play or win every game they play. Um, but that, that's what we're here to do. I mean, we're, we're here to shake up college football. I mean, we're sick of seeing the same four teams. So I think there's more than just us. You know, this is for both of you guys. I, uh, Kalani talked a lot about how effort is part of the fundamentals in, in college football. And even when – you know, you guys got outgamed in time of possession a whole bunch tonight. Like, how were you guys still able to find that extra gear to to somehow still pull out the win at the end? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, trusting each each part of the team. You know, when the offense wasn't moving the ball when they were punting, um, we just took it as a sign. You know, we need to step up because um, we know they'll have our back. You know, like like we saw them score. We, we saw them score some points. Um but we had full confidence in, in our boys. You know, we knew we knew everything was going to take place how it was, and we trusted the process. That's all you can really say. You talked about you know how you would have stormed the field if you'd been a fan. Yeah. But how big were the fans on that last drive of theirs? Because I think they forced a couple false starts, and you know you guys were able to you know force them into that fourth and long to win the game. Yeah, I think playing at home did a lot for us this game. I mean, you look last year, we were playing Arizona State, having, what, five five offsides, whatever, just from the stadium being so loud. I think that really plays a part in uh, how teams drive the field and how they perform in the red zone. And the distraction that that gives them, I think I think The Rock does a good job. Last, last question. Max, you mentioned that uh, you felt that Tuiaki had prepared you guys extremely well. Um, you also said that he maybe made some maybe doubters believers. Uh, what is it that, that you guys see that maybe the, the media and the fans don't see? You know, we we know a guy, um, you know, knows football, knows his defense really well. Um, a lot of people look past, uh, you know, I mean, what you said a couple questions ago, we've only lost a couple games in the last two years. That enough shows that, you know, our team as a whole, our defense, offense, special teams, um, has what it takes to win games. And I think, uh, yeah, Tuiaki just went out. Um, he had us prepped well. I think we just showed what, we, what we're really <laughs> capable um, at full strength as a defense.